start out with a portrait. I use slash. Um, delete the background behind him. You're going to want just him there to fool around with. You don't want to deal with the background later on, so you might as well get rid of it now. I'm just getting rid of some of the rough stuff from what the magic eraser erased. You can get rid of the background however you want. The lasso tool, the pen tool, the magic eraser tool. Many ways to do it. And you want to make sure your colors your colors are good before you posterize. So go to adjustments, levels. Well, uh, let's do an auto color first and then go to auto I mean uh, image adjustments. Bring the far right slider over to get good whites and press OK. You can image adjustments, posterize, make sure you have five for your levels. Press OK. Now this is going to be your template layer. You're always going to have this layer. All you will need to do is just, if you're going to want to make a threshold, just copy this layer by dragging it down to the new layer button. Go to adjustments, threshold, bring that slider all the way, almost all the way to the right, around 255, just way over there, 249, sorry. Save this as a new document in a Photoshop format, PSD. I just named it slash one, press OK. Now, press the I so it uh, disappears. Copy that layer again, your template layer, do threshold. Don't go as far. I stopped around uh, 193, 180, and then I pressed OK. Saved it. Slash 2. OK. All of these are going to be PSDs. Copy that same layer. Image adjustment threshold. And bring it down from the right, going towards the left a little bit more. So I'm stopping around around 122 press ok save as another one slash 3 psd copy that template layer by dragging it down to the new new layer button um, image adjustments threshold this threshold we're still working to the left this one is around 62 again save hide that layer. For the last time, we do this five times, this is the last one, image adjustments threshold, bring it way over to the left to get really good whites, still some black, this is going to be your, your actual black layer, so whatever you see here is going to be black on the final poster. Threshold of 32, name it slash 5, okay, we're completely done with Photoshop, we are now in Illustrator. Go to Object, Live Trace, Tracing Options, give it a blur of 1, press Trace. It's going to trace it, may take some time, press Expand, that button up there I just pressed. Go to Object, Ungroup, Object, I mean select Same Color, You're, we're selecting the white to delete it. So select that white, select Same, Fill in Stroke, Delete. Now select your blacks, and this is how you're going to colorize it. Again, that, that color palette right there in the upper left, you're going to use that for your colors. That's actually a Shepard Fairey's colors for the Obama. So you do the same thing with the black. You go to, um, click on your black, you go to select, select, same, fill in stroke, I get that, that tan color, and we're going to ignore the red, work from tan over all the way to that dark blue, and then black after that. Now we're going to open our second one, drag it to align with the other one, make it exactly fit. Now see how that we, how we took the background out behind the portrait, see how that's coming into play now. We no longer see it. We have it out of there, so we can, see, we can line it up perfectly now that we can see behind slash. Again, object live trace, tracing options, give it a blur of one, keep everything else default, 
trace. Again, ungroup, object, ungroup. Go to um, select, same fill and stroke. Oh, we'll select the white first, then go to select, same fill and stroke, delete it. Now you can see that tan skin color behind there. Same thing with the black, select, same fill and stroke. I move into the uh, left on that color, so we're doing that, that greenish blue color. And now I'm going to speed up because it's the same thing over and over and over until you get to black. So we'll just watch this. This is really easy to do. And it, t it takes like 10 minutes, as you see in the video. It's, it's like, it's really short. This is real time except for what's happening right now, but that, that added maybe an extra minute. Okay, so this is the finished product pretty much with the black and everything in there. You can add that red color to that dark blue color that you see in there, but I don't really like to. because My favorite color is blue, so you could keep that tan color and do green. You can do whatever your favorite colors are. It's really, really open. So now I'm, I'm colorizing what's going to be the background. Shepard Fairey really likes to stick to like rectangular shapes from behind the image on the poster type, like the Obama poster one. I'm going to do blue and red. And you can see how it's how it's kind of coming through on his shirt, the red. So I'm going to have to make a pen tool. Pen tool selection of that skin tone color and send it to back so that it fills those areas with the color I want because we deleted the white, so it got rid of all the white. That's so you can choose whatever color. If you want the white, go ahead and fill what I'm doing right now with the pen tool in with white. But I prefer that, that beige color, so. You can see I missed a little bit of dark blue around there on that left on his sleeve, so I'm gonna go back and fix that. Just to select that, select that little bit of dark blue over there, I just now noticed. Bring it up, keep select with the pin tool by just clicking. For this, you just hold to make it bend. And we're gonna make this that skin that skin tone color. If I can click it. <laughs> and arrange send to back. I right clicking, arrange send it back, and now I'm going to put that color in. So now eyedropper tool to get that, that tan color, and there you have it. So now we have those rectangle colors in the background. And what he usually does is he puts a horizontal rectangle, pretty big one, right cropping the image, right in front of the image. So we're going to go to the rectangle drawing tool. This is something new with Illustrator. As you see, I move my mouse over. It's showing paths without having to click on it. That's just something new to CS4. So get the rectangles, rectangle tool and draw a horizontal rectangle. I'm going to fill that with that dark blue color. And I just got a really simple font that I'm, gonna, I'm just going to type his name, slash. Resize it with the arrow tool. I'm going to make it that, that uh, light blue bluish green color and I just found a font on dafont.com it's a really 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 simple one I think it's called market deco it's called market deco and um, I just think it looks kinda like the font he uses so to get it down there transform it just bend it make it fit usually you don't do this with font but I don't care so that's about it. In fact, that's it. So thanks for watching my tutorial and I hope you learned something.